as Texas rearranges the nameplates, we'll uh, get our reminders out of the way that we ask that you please silence all cell phones. There's no flash photography, no video allowed in the press conference. We will have the press conference available for download at the NCAA Media Hub. We'll take questions from the media room first, followed by anybody joining on Zoom. Uh, please state your name and affiliation, as well as who you're addressing the question to uh, before you ask your question. As we, uh, we'll, After a coach's opening statement, we'll ask you to first direct your questions to the student athletes. University of Texas with the 69-47 win over Gonzaga. Joining us in the post-game press conference, head coach Vic Schaefer, along with student athletes Shaley Gonzalez, Shay Holly, and Leah Moore. Coach, congratulations on the win and heading to the Elite Eight. We'll open with your opening statement. Okay, give me one second. Finish up just a second. Well, um, first of all, I just want to congratulate Gonzaga on a, on a great year. It's hard to win 30 games, 32 games in a season. And um, obviously, that's a really, really good team over there. And in the same breath, I'm going to say that I am so proud of this group, of their effort, uh, their intensity, their focus, their intentionality defensively, attention to detail. Um, just off the chart. Um, for those of you that haven't seen us play before, that's pretty much been the standard the last two months. This group's chemistry um, has just grown and grown and grown. Um, it's really fun to coach and fun to watch. I can tell you, I've had a front row seat to it. Um, giving God the glory for 33 wins. Um, just what a blessing this group has been and just how they keep continuing to get better. And um, I just thought our, our focus defensively was really on point. I thought we got great bench play tonight. Uh, I thought we had one of our signature um, things that we talk about after the game is how's your continuity through substitution. I thought Hattie, was, Hattie and Amina really gave us some good minutes inside. Um, and, uh, and Jock and G came off the bench. and. Young kids that haven't played, obviously, in this moment very much, but uh, did, did a good job. So we beat a really good basketball team tonight. This group right here, they had a little edge to them, I got to tell you. And um, I don't think you want to play this team when they got an edge. And uh, it's not like they need it. They need anything to motivate them, but they are highly motivated right now. And uh, again, it's. It's pretty incredible to think that they went out and held them to four for 22 from the three-point line. I think they're averaging, what, 10, 11, something like that from three, um, contesting everything. It's not like they missed him. They contested all of them and were right there. Our communication was on point. And um, again, let me tell you something about Shaylee Gonzalez. So she has to move over. Booker gets in foul trouble. Obviously, Book struggled a little bit tonight. Shaley Gonzalez moves over and takes over the point and just plays spectacular. Runs our team. She's, um, what, six for 11, three for five. She had four assists, no turnovers. How about that? Thank you. And, and uh, two steals, just playing her guts out. Absolutely just an incredible young lady and an incredible basketball player and uh, she's done it for us in two years that she's been with us i mean we're just really um really blessed to have her as well as the rest of our group but she did a heck of a job tonight you never know when these these things happen when you have a young player that might struggle a little bit and uh she took up the slack so proud of these kids proud of our team it's a great win and uh, we'll get ready for Sunday. First question will be right here, Gray Jacket. Uh, Danny Davis, Austin American Statesman. For any of the players, can you comment on you know, your bench, Amina, Patty, Jock, Gisela, all kind of stepping up and giving you good minutes tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, they, we compete every day in practice, and they also compete, and so I think that they were just ready when their name was called tonight, um, which we need from them every night, but I just think it just goes to show how People might say we don't have a deep bench, but we really do. Um, so I'm just really extremely proud of them. 
Um, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, we talk all the time how it takes all of us to get where we are right now. Um, and we have all the confidence in the world in each and every player on our team because we see the work they put in day in and day out. So, you know, they've been doing the prep and that's why they're ready in moments like this. Um, I definitely feel like uh, the older girls are really big examples for them and it just, you know, drives them to be good and to bring energy as well. Um, and it's super fun playing on the court and so it's just nice to get those girls in, um, get the minutes and see them play well. Um, for, oh, sorry, Bella Munson with the next, for Shay and Aaliyah, um, obviously um, your coach spoke to it, Shaylee came up big in this game. Do you think she gets enough credit for what she does for your team? And can you sort of just speak about how big her performance was today? Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for anyone else, but being firsthand Shaylee's teammate for the past two years, I'm gonna give her credit, <laughs> where credit's due every day, because she is someone on our team that is very experienced and coaches very hard on her, I'm be real with you, probably one of the hardest on the team because she has that experience. So we hold her to a very high standard, but I think she excels that standard every day. She's a very hard worker. She's a great person outside of the court, but just the work that I've seen her put in over the past two years, I mean, it's not easy coming into this man's system, um, especially playing, coming from a different school. Um, and so I'm extremely proud of her, man. Um, I'm sad, I don't, I don't want her to, to leave, but I'm not gonna talk about it, we still have more games to play. Uh, but I'm, I'm extremely proud of Slim. Yeah, um, I mean, everything she said, but what makes her special is I don't think she cares about the credit. Um, we all know she deserves everything that comes her way and more. Um, but yeah, I mean, being her teammate's a blessing for sure. She helps us every single day on the court, off the court. It's nice having a grandma around and <laughs> take care of all of us, and she definitely did that tonight, so. Okay. Issa <laughs> Almeida with the Daily Texan. Alia, you seem pretty happy when Coach Sadie had six assists. That on top of a double-double, what does that mean to you and being going to the Elite Eight? Um, I, my teammates, I guess, made some great catches and they finished, so I was able to get six assists, um, so shout out them. But, I mean, I'm willing to do whatever I can to help this team win. Whatever position coach will put me in, whether that's rebounding, um, ISOs, setting screens, whatever it is, I'm willing to do it. So I'm just extremely proud of this team. I'm, I'm proud of myself. It has not been easy to get where I am now. And... Just happy that I'm back playing the game. Lindsay and then Tim. Lindsay Schnell, USA Today. Shaylee, what is it about playing Gonzaga that brings out the best in you? And um, you know, I, how, I, can, I, I was also going to ask, how important is good guard play in the NCAA tournament, do you think? Yeah, um, obviously I played against Gonzaga for four years, uh, being in the WCC. So, you know, I had a chip on my shoulder playing them again. Um, obviously, I knew their team very well, um, and I didn't want to lose. Um, so this win is huge for us. Um, and then guard play is super important for us. Um, I feel like it drives, you know, drives our team. Um, obviously, everyone is super important, has a good role on the team. Um, but once that guard play gets going, um, I feel like it, you know, brings the whole team together. Tim, and then Alexa. Tim Booth from the AP. Uh, for all the players, your coach said you guys are playing with an edge right now. Why are you playing with that edge, and how is that showing up on the court, you feel like? Uh, I feel like me and Coach will always talk about how we love being the villain. Like, we'll be the villain. It's totally fine. We'll be the underdogs. People can undermine us. That's underestimate us, excuse me. That is totally fine. At the end of the day, we know the work that we put in every day, and we're the ones going to battle. No one else is in our practices, our film sessions, anything that we do. And so I think because we know that, we have the foundation. It's up to us to prove it every night, and I think that we're doing that right now. Yeah, I think it's just we hold ourselves to a very high standard, so we want to meet that every single game and practice. Um, so I think that's where the edge comes from, honestly. Like, we know what we're capable of, and we know the work we've put in since the summer, since June. So, you know, it's four moments like these, and we're super blessed to be here. But, yeah, we have a very high standard for ourselves. Yeah, I would, just to add on to that, um, you know, just starting from summer, we'd have, like, 5 a.m. track workouts. Um, so just, you know, all that hard work and then realizing, you know, we just want to keep winning and winning because we have put in that much work and we know we're that good. Alexa. Alexa Filthu, ESPN. For Shaylee and Shay, just to see Aaliyah doing what she's doing and this point of the season, given what happened last year and just everything that she put in to come back, how incredible is that for you guys to watch and what are some of the things that we don't see that kind of helped her get here? Um, I mean, 
ACL injury is not easy. I've been through it, so I know how she feels. Um, it's super hard mentally and physically, um, so I can imagine what she went through. Um, but just to see her excel and to come back and to want it even more, you see a chip, chip on her shoulder, and um, it's just amazing to see, you know, how special she can be, you know, double-double coming in every single night. Yeah, I mean, when she got hurt last year, first thing is, like, comeback's going to be crazy, and, like, none of us had any doubt about it because we know the type of player she is, the type of person she is. She doesn't do anything half-hearted, so we knew it was going to be the same with her rehab and how she came back, and obviously it's on display now, so super proud of her. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Kevin Oliver, last question. Uh, Kevin Pelton, ESPN.com. Leah, how are you feeling after the – looked like cramps during the game? <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I need to stay hydrated, <laughs> number one. But, yeah, just a hard fall. I'll be totally fine. Um, I will be staying hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sorry. One thing before we, you know, end it. I just want to give a shout-out to this man right here because we couldn't have done it without him. Um, and I would just like to say that he is a Secretary of Defense, and he always will be, and no one else will take that position. Um, I think we've proven it every night, holding teams under their average, and we couldn't have done it without him. The drills every day, the habits that we build in practice. And so let's give credit where credit's due. Um, and, yeah, this man is special, and that's why we're special. So retweet. Right. Yes. We're All starts with him. <laughs> Players, thank you very much. Congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank Coach, you. Coach, you're still here. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, we'll open up the questions for the secretary. We'll start right there. Uh, Coach, manager Amidas from the Daily Texan. You've talked about it before. When you're at the University of Texas, you get everybody's best shot. How much does that influence your coaching philosophy and just the message that you send to your players every night? I mean, it's what we all signed up for, you know. Um, I knew it when I came, you know, came to Austin. Uh, you know, I grew up in the era of Coach Conrad and the standard that, that she set. And, um, you know, quite frankly, it's, it's, it's what motivates me. I want to be like that, to be honest with you. I, I want my teams to be like those teams. And, um, and so we, we know the, the standard that, uh, you know, I've told the story, you know, three, my second year, we finished in the Elite Eight, fifth in the country. I'm sitting at a head coach's meeting there's 20 head coaches at the table. Ten of them played for the national championship. Ten of them. They either finished first or second in the country. We finished fifth. That's not even good enough to be in the top half at the University of Texas. Pretty humbling. <laughs> but that's, that's what you sign up for. And so our kids have really, they've, they've seen it. You know, we get everybody's best shot, their best two days of practice, their best pregame meal, their best, their best shoot around. And, and so then you throw on top of that, you're a one seed. And, and so, our, but our kids have worn it all year. I mean, you go through the gauntlet of the Big 12 and you wear that. I mean, that's a storied, rich, tradition-rich league. Um, you're just, you're, you're made for this. And so I think our kids understand it. They're, they're unflappable, you know. And um, they're tough. I mean, they really are. I mean, you, saw, you just watch those kids for two hours. I mean, you see how hard those kids play? All of them, every one of them. Because they know if one of them doesn't, they stick out like a sore thumb. And it, it just brings joy to my heart to see kids play. Like I've said it before, we want to lead the country in playing hard. That's what we want. We want to lead that stat. And it's a slap in our face when people want to make joke of, of us or, you know, how we play or, you know, any of that. I mean, it, it is. We take it real personal. So I'm, I'm really proud of this group, proud of my staff. That was a hell of a scout that Coach Lobato put together. We've been going through those actions for four days. Looked like we'd had, didn't it? Bella Munson with the next again. Um, Taylor Jones appeared to be dressed and available today. Is there any reason, particular reason she didn't play, and will she be available for the Elite Eight? Yeah, she's in concussion protocol. So she was not available. Um, she had a, uh, didn't get through yesterday, so um, she was not available. Danny Davis, Austin American States. And Vic, was this the first time in a while you kept your jacket on the entire game? And what were your <laughs> thoughts about the way your bigs played with Taylor out? Yeah, I thought our bigs were special. Um, 
you know, Hattie just came off the bench and was so good defensively. Gets that steal and, and layup. <laughs> Amos smoked her layup. She had one, too. But I, I thought our bigs, Amina, Deanna, were really, really special tonight, knowing that we were in a little bit of a pinch without, without uh, Taylor. So I'm really, really, really proud of them and, and, and how they played and, and how they defended who I, you know, a great player. I mean, kids averaging 20 a game and we held her to four for 10. So she had 14 on four for 10 with four turnovers. So a uh, lot of respect for, for um, Yvonne. And, uh, but I thought our kids really did a good job with the scout in, in taking that away. And um, as far as my jacket goes, I, I don't know, it wasn't very hot in there tonight. The last gym I was in, it was pretty warm. So. Kevin first. Oh, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Sorry? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin Calden, ESPN.com. Coach, if I had told you back in December that you were going to play a quarter of a tournament game without Rory and Taylor and then Madison with the foul trouble, would you have expected that you could have opened up a 19-point halftime lead? You know, I, I've said this a lot. You know, when Rory went down, I, I don't think anybody really gave this team a shot. And... Um, except my staff and I, we refuse to just throw our hands up and go, well, you know, that's terrible, it's devastating, which it was. We got what we got, let's make the best of it. That's, that's never how we approached any of this. Um, you know, uh, my local media know I've referred to it as Apollo 13. You know, when Apollo 13 was in the air and they had the, the short circuit and not only can they not finish their mission to the moon, but now there's a question about whether we can get them home. They had to rewire the, the capsule. That's what we had to do. We had to rewire the capsule. But I can tell you, as a man of faith and somebody that asks why a lot, not supposed to, by the way, at that moment on that day, we had basically two hours to get ready to play a game after she went down. And I can tell you, I had to give my team to God because I knew that there's no class I ever took in my undergrad or in my master's. There's no clinic to go to that teaches you how to deal with something so devastating. It's not only missing the player and the impact she has on her team and her teammates, but it's the kid herself who's such a wonderful young lady. It's the mom and dad who are unbelievable parents. Your heart aches so bad for them and To get through that day in that game, I had to, you know, I had two hours because we were fixing to play. So I had to get myself together because my kids that were healthy fixing to play a game, I owed them my very best effort. But then after that, it was okay. First of all, Booker's going to be our point guard. There was no tryout. And we got to get everybody else to raise their level in, in, in their, their, how they play. And man, you talk about a team that's done that. It's, it's amazing, y'all. Like, it's amazing what this group has accomplished. They're remarkable young ladies, unbelievable kids. They work their guts out every day. They pay the price to be where they are right now. I mean, these young ladies are going to be so good in the real world when they're done playing basketball. But I don't want their basketball to be done because I love coaching them. I love it. Man, I had, the, I had a ball tonight watching those kids play like that. Are you kidding me? It was so much fun watching those kids play their guts out tonight on defense. It was just amazing. Amazing. Nobody thought that could happen. Nobody thought our team would be here today. You're right. Nobody did but us because we refused to think any other way because that's how we're built. And those kids just kept winning and getting confidence, and here we are. Alexa, and if we have time, Lindsay. You got a date? My <laughs> wife just flew home for a week. Yes, I do. Well, she'll oh. have to wait. <laughs> I can't get in the way. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell her that when yeah. I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, Phil, with ESPN. Yep. Uh, two quick ones. Can you share any of the stats that you were circling just now? Is it anything in particular, a bunch of things that stuck out? Yeah, Alexa, so when I get, a stat, when I get these, I, I, I circle the good stats and I box the bad ones. So, you know, you circle AMO at 
five for nine. You circle Shaley at six for 11, three for five. Shayali's five for seven, two for three. Hattie's two for three, four for four at the free throw line. Amina's two for four. You circle the double-double the double with the 10 rebounds, the six rebounds that Holly had, but now the bad boxes. Seven turnovers, Booker. Five turnovers, Holly. Four turnovers, Jock Langa. So they had, of our 19 turnovers, 16 of them were for three people. That's about the only bad boxes I got tonight. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be a little easy on them. So, you know, th those are the things. I got a lot of boxes up here in that top, on that top stat sheet because we did such a great job holding those kids that can really, really shoot it. We held them down. Can I? Yeah, go ahead, Alexa. I'll just follow up real quick. Yeah. Um, sorry. When, <laughs> sorry to Blake's wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about your team playing with that edge and you just explained how you didn't think, or people outside your program didn't yep. think you could be here, is that what you're kind of, you're saying, like why they're playing with that edge? Is, is it that or is it something else? Well, again, I think at Texas, you, you, you have to play with an edge, Alexa, because Again, we're getting everybody's best shot. If you don't play with that edge, you're going to get, you're going to get beat. It's just the way it is because everybody else is going to give you their best shot. That first year that I was there, we had two or three teams that they're, they're throwing water on their coach when they beat me in my own gym. You know, I inherited a, that team, and it took a while to get them, you know, to come around, and that ain't it, <laughs> just so you know. And so – you know, that's, that's part of it is that edge of knowing we have got to be our best every night. Every night. Um, and then, again, I think you add on the fact that we're the one seed now out here. We knew it was going to be a, a road game. You know, it is what it is. We just played three straight in Kansas City in the Big 12 tournament. It's fine. This team's built for it. So, I'm, uh, you know, I just think that's – that's life at Texas, really, to be honest with you. That's all the time we have. Coach, thank oh, you very man. much. He'll be back tomorrow. We'll have more time. Hey, let's, let's yeah. walk out. We'll yeah. So. All right. Thank you all for being here. Praise the Lord and hook of horns. We'll have Gonzaga momentarily.